In the previous lessons, I've talked some about hashing and hash codes, and you need to know what that is and how it works in Java. Everything in a computer is made up of a bunch of bits. You can take that bunch of bits and crunch them together into a single number. This number is known as a hash value, and if you use the same hashing algorithm on the same object, you'll get the same value. Now, it is possible for two completely different input value sets to result in the same hash code value, but different hash code values guarantee that the input values were not the same. The Java object class has a method named hash code that returns a hash value for that object. Therefore, every object in Java has a hash value, even though the value is not guaranteed to be unique. It's common for a class to override the default hash code method and use the data inside the extended object as the basis of the hashing algorithm. You could, for example, create a class that contains a character string. If you were to use the characters in that string to create the hash value, then by comparison of the hash values, you could determine with a level of certainty whether they contained the same string. The default hash code method usually just returns the value of the address of the object as the hash code value. So the only comparison that will match is to compare an object to itself. You may need, or you may decide that you need, to override the existing hash code method. For one thing, it's a rule that two objects that are equal have equal hash code values. If your class overrides the equals method, it should also override the hash code method. When you implement your hash code, any field not used for comparison by the equals method should not be included in the calculation of the hash code. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the hash code value can be used to prove that two objects are not identical, but it cannot be used to prove that they are identical. Two entirely different objects could coincidentally turn up with the same hash code value. A hash code can be used to store items and then locate them later rather quickly. If you key the stored items by their numeric hash code and you come back to find them later using the hash code, you can tell quickly if it isn't there. If no hash code matches, you don't have it stored. If the hash code does match, then you have a strongly probable candidate. Or you may have more than one candidate. All you have to do is check those candidates for a further match. Writing a hash code method is a bit of a creative act. You want to combine all the values that make this object unique into a single 32-bit int value, and then return that value. The same object will always return the same value, but the value can be anything calculated any way that you like.